Welcome to Hollywood. Thank you. Okay, top five, go. All right, I guess we can maybe start with the camera, right? This is one of our Sony FX6s, very versatile. We ended up acquiring a couple of them in addition to some FX9s, um, as well as some FX3s. So we've definitely fallen in love with uh, that Sony Cinema series um, over here. And so number four is going to be a, a set of comms. Um, so these are ear techs. Um, so this can be paired up with five to eight, depending on what setup you wanted to take or the production. Um, usually our productions are very small footprint. So five is sufficient, you know, for a camera operator, or an AC, producer, director, production. Um, that's usually our big five right there. They're very easy to, to maneuver and use. Um, they work off of battery. And, you know, it's just a simple down click to speak, click up to mute yourself, if you will. Um, but yeah, they, they've been very effective for what our production needs require. So definitely would be on the top five. Yeah. Comms. All right, three. Um, number three, and again, me being utility, um, I would say it's going to be a Pelican. Any case or a Pelican? Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Pelican, but even if it's the black and yellow case over there, right? To me, it's essential to make sure that, you know, cases are available um, and that we are keeping our gear in cases. Uh, just from like an organizational standpoint, um, I would much rather keep it in here this way than to have, you know, cameras out in the open. Um, there's just less room for things to get damaged that way. Have you noticed how beautifully organized Vince's gear room is? That's because he's using Checkroom to manage it. The app gives him a nice overview of all the equipment. He can track who is using the gear and how long they're using it for. We have links below so you can try it out yourself. So number two. Number two. Number two, keeping you guys on your toes. What's that yellow box there? We'll save that one for later. Uh, oh, no, no, number two is actually gonna be a Teradex system. Um, Always handy, yes. And again, going back to the same thing about comms, Wireless transmission is a big thing. This has been very, very essential in that. Um, and then also something that we've started to do more through the pandemic um, is having like wireless feed for other people to view like a, what would you call like a virtual video village. Um, so we're able to do that through the Teradex system. Definitely essential. Right. Number one, are we ready? The yellow box. <laughs> the yellow box. Um, this I'm to me, curious. Um, I, I can oh, bring it over here, yeah. Table. I you can do it right here, right here. <laughs> save, I saved the spot. So what's here is a Blackmagic uh, Mini Pro. And what this has allowed us to do is what more sophisticated control rooms can essentially do. Um, so it's been a very key tool for the type of content that we put out um, to be able to get line cuts straight off of set, um, to also be able to dispatch feed to multiple screens by one machine. Um, so definitely wanna shout out this product um, as it's been a very, very big tool from production all the way through post-production. Um, Cause a lot of times we are on tight timelines. So even being able to get that line cut fresh out of the field saves us sometimes days in post. That would be my top five, you know? It doesn't always have to be the fanciest camera. Of course not. You need the essentials. Exactly. A very big one in a very small case. Right, and it's yellow. And it's yellow. Wait, and who's, who's that guy? Oh, Kevin, that's my ace in the hole, man. He's actually prepping for a shoot that uh, we got word of earlier this week. Um, so he'll be leaving here in a couple minutes, actually. If you wanna see the setup of that shoot, watch here.